Hello, my name is Gabby from Gentle Birth. I am your prenatal yoga instructor and welcome to this class. This practice will be focused on movement and stretching. And while you move, you will try to synchronize these movements with your breath. This way you will improve the blood flow that goes to your heart. And at the same time, it will improve the oxygen rich blood that goes to your baby. This will keep your baby on track for a healthy development. Also, when you focus on your breath, when you move, it will help you out to calm down your mind, to um, calm down your anxiety, and also it will help you to sleep better. So let's get started. The first movement and a stretching that we are going to do is to stretch the neck. When you have a lot of tension on your mind, you probably will feel a lot of pressure on your upper back. So stretching the neck will help you out to release some tension. You're, you are going to sit down over the mat to crossing your legs and you're going to bring your right hand to the left side of your head. Inhale, raise your arms up. When you exhale, bring your left hand down and put your right hand on the left side of your head. You will try to separate your shoulder from your ear, your right shoulder from your right ear. And try to bring your right ear to your right shoulder. With your left hand, you will push the mat down and you will feel the stretching on the left side of your neck. You're going to breathe here. Four more times. Three more, inhale, feel the air going in, up, in to your body. Exhale, feel the air going out of your body. Two more times, inhale. Exhale through your nose, one last time, inhale. Exhale, and release your right hand. Inhale, raise your arms up. When you exhale, bring your left hand to the right side of your head and put your right hand towards the mat. You're going to separate now your left shoulder from your left ear and try to bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Inhale to create a space inside you. When you exhale, relax your shoulders down to the mat. Four more times, inhale. Exhale. Three more, inhale. When you exhale, you can put a little, a little pressure to your head. So you feel the stretching on the right side of your neck. Two more times, inhale. And one last time, inhale. And release your hands. Now the next movement that we're going to do will help you to relax a little bit the muscles from your back and it will help you to synchronize this movement with your breath, creating more space inside of you so you can um, feel comfortable and you will feel very nice when you have like space inside of you for your baby, for your organs. So let's get started. You will keep your legs crossed. You're going to interlace your fingers like this. You will just put your hands over your legs. And when you inhale, you will imagine that you bring air to your chest. Inhale. Now when you exhale, you're going to push your hands to the front, extend your elbows and round your back a little bit. You can look to your belly so you can stretch your neck. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale and relax your hands one more time. Interlace your hands, interlace your fingers. Inhale, bring air to your chest. Exhale, push your hands in front of you. Extend your elbows and round your back. Look into your belly button. Inhale, extend your spine. Extend your hands up. Exhale, release. Two more times. Interlace, inhale. Round your back and push your hands to the front. Look to your belly button. Inhale up. Exhale down and one more time. Inhale. 
exhale through your nose and push. Inhale up. Exhale down. Very nice. You can do this movement the times that you need. Now, we are going to bring your right ear to your right shoulder, like this. When you're here, you're going to inhale through your nose. Now, when you exhale, hang your head to the front, making a half circle, and go with your left ear to your, to your left shoulder. Inhale here. Exhale, release your head to the front, making half a circle. Inhale. Exhale, hang your head to the front. One last time, inhale. Exhale. And come to the center again. Now, the next um, stretching that we're going to do is the same sides of your body. This will help you breathe better because you are going to open your chest and will help you to round your shoulders to the back. This will also stretch the muscles from your ribs or around your ribs. So it will liberate space. It will make space for you, for your um, uterus, for your diaphragm also. So it can have space to move down and go back to its place when you breathe. Okay, so what we're going to do is to put your right hand on the mat and you're going to start walking to the right side of your mat. You're going to feel the stretching on your hips. You're going to push your left buttocks to the mat. Now you're going to try to separate your shoulder from your ear and when you inhale, go up with your left hand. You're going to look to your left hand. You're going to turn your palm to your face and complete the, di the diagonal and hold here, breathing five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale up. When you exhale, put your left hand on the mat and start walking to the left side of your mat. Inhale, raise your right hand up, turn your palm, inhale, exhale and complete. Turn your right shoulder to the back, hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, go back. We're going to repeat this stretching one more time. Start walking with your right hand to the right side of your mat. Now when you are at that point where you can stay, inhale, raise your left hand up, look to your left hand, turn your palm to your face, complete the diagonal, and turn your left shoulder to the back, projecting your chest to the sky. And you can stay here breathing, five, four, three, two and one inhale go back always try to feel your seat bones touching the mat walk with your left hand separating your hand from your leg inhale raise your right hand up turn your palm complete the diagonal turn your shoulder to the back project your chest to the sky and breathe for five four three two and one inhale up exhale and relax your shoulders down to the mat the next movement that we're going to do it is called cat cow movements and will help you to release the back pain from um, carrying your belly so uh, we will start on a table pose you're going to make sure that your shoulder is aligned with your wrist, that your hip is aligned with your knee and your knees will be hip distance open. Now try not to collapse your lumbar. For this you're going to like push your belly button to your back like if you were hugging your baby with your ribs. 
that way you will not do this just keep your spine straight your back flat so from here what we're going to do synchronizing the movement with your breath is that we, when you inhale you're going to open your chest like projecting your chest to the mat your shoulders to the ceiling look up or in front of you and when you exhale you're going to round your back like pushing your hands towards your mat and look into your belly button rounding your back separating your vertebras from each other here you will feel the stretching on your muscles inhale look up open your chest Repeat three more times, inhale, exhale, two more times, inhale, exhale, one more time, inhale, exhale, round your back, put your back flat your spine straight, put your toes down to the mat, bring your buttocks to your heels, stretch your elbows and walk with your hands towards the front of your mat and put your forehead on the mat. Inhale. When you exhale, separate your knees from the mat, straight your legs, bring your seat bones up to the and push your hands if you feel a lot of pressure on the upper part of your back then you are going to open your hands a little bit also if you have your belly a little bigger then you're going to open also your feet keep your hips up inhale exhale knees to the mat buttocks to your heels inhale Exhale, go up again. Inhale, knees down. Exhale, buttocks to your heels. Inhale, separate buttocks from your heels. Exhale, sit bones up. Downward dog. One last time, inhale, knees to the mat. Exhale, buttocks to your heels and rest here in child's pose. You can bring your hands to the back so you can liberate some tension from your shoulders and from your upper back. Hold here and breathe. Feel your baby, feel your breath, feel your heart rate. The next movement that we're going to do will be we will be starting on table pose and we will be activating the muscles from your abdominal and from your lumbar. This will help you to carry the weight of your belly and it will also help you prevent back pain. So let's go. Also from table pose, remember to align your shoulder with your wrist and remember to align your hip with your knee. Also try not to collapse your lumbar Engage your core, like hugging your baby with your ribs. So you will engage your core with your pelvis. From here, when you do this activation on your abdominals, you will stretch back your right leg and you will stretch to the front your left arm. You will hold here, breathing for three, two trying to get your balance and one inhale here when you exhale you're going to touch your knee and your elbow inhale if you don't touch because your belly is too big it doesn't matter you can open your knee on your side inhale exhale inhale to the front exhale two more times inhale exhale one more time inhale exhale inhale to straight exhale go down and let's go to the other side straight 
to the back your left leg and to the front your right arm hold here engage your core hold for three breathe for two and one inhale exhale and touch inhale straight exhale touch three more times inhale exhale one more time i'm sorry two more times exhale and now one more time inhale exhale to go back inhale straight exhale down to the mat your hand and your knee open your knees hip distance bring your buttocks to the back and rest on child's pose mm. this this space this moment on child's pose is for you to listen to your body to listen to your baby to your breath to see how are you feeling and if you feel dizzy if you feel that you need to take a rest then do it do not push too hard on yourself and always listen to you what we're doing next is some sun salutations variation the combination of these intentional movements with an structured breathing will help you uh, to calm down symptoms of depression because it blocks the cortisol it also the sun salutations will help you out not only to stretch the body but to strengthen the muscles of to give strength to the muscles of your body if this is the first time that you practice yoga and it is the first time that you practice um, sun salutations you might know that we are going to use the knees always because we need to protect our lumbar by activating the abdominal but not putting a lot of pressure to this part of our body um, so we're going to use the knees to do some chaturangas or some um, elbows bend okay um, another thing is that we in these movements we're going to do a lot of standing poses and then um, sitting poses so if you have low pressure you might feel a little bit dizzy so if you feel like this then you have to be careful and sit down listen to your body and avoid doing these kind of movements okay so let's get started we're going to start standing up in front of the mat with your toes towards um, like projecting projected to the front now you're going to engage your core muscles by engaging your pelvis with your abdominals projecting the coccyx down to the mat your arms next to your body look in front of you you're going to feel your soles you're going to feel your feet on the mat strong legs strong core you're going to inhale and raise your arms up in circle look to your hands exhale bring your hands together to the center of your chest inhale raise your arms up exhale through your nose put your hands together and come back to the center one last time inhale exhale hands to the chest one last time inhale now when you exhale bend a little bit your knees bring your hands above your knees inhale flat back exhale bring your hands to your mat bring your knees down to the mat to a table pose inhale open your chest look up exhale round your back and look into your your belly button inhale one more time open your chest round your shoulders to the back look up exhale do not hold your breath one last time inhale exhale round your back now bring your hands a little bit to the front walk with your hands to the front put your feet on the mat 
bring your buttocks to your heels inhale here now when you exhale straight your knees bring your sit bones up to the sky if you need to keep your knees bent then do it you can open your hands like mat distance also and if your belly is big then you can open your feet too and hold here stretching your spine three two and one go down with your knees down to the mat inhale exhale child's pose and bring your forehead down to the mat hold here listen to your breath listen to your baby to your body hmm. one more breath inhale exhale now once again put your toes on the mat inhale bring your buttocks to your heels exhale bring your seat bones up to the sky and start walking with your feet towards your hands if you can if you feel stable you can put your hands above your knees inhale straight your spine exhale bend your knees and you if if you have your feet open then you will have space for your belly and hang your head if you feel okay you can hang your hands too and start rounding up your back roll up inhale keep your eyes open exhale look into the front nice job you can always repeat this sun salutation anytime that you want anytime that you feel that you need to move to stretch in a slow and a smooth way thank you very much for being today with me and practicing with us with gentle birth see you in the next class Namaste. Bye.